Hi everybody, Cynthia with Swan Soap and Such, and today I'm going to make a special soap for a lady um, who special ordered a soap because she has some skin issues. So we made a soap and formulated it especially for her. So it's uh, cocoa butter and shea butter with sulfur in it. So come with me and we'll make some soap. Okay, everybody, here is my sulfur. Let me get the label out here. And I got this from Alpha Chemicals um, from Amazon. This is 99.5% sulfur. That's what it looks like. It looks like just powder. So I'm going to use a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm going to use a full teaspoon of the rose clay that I have here and I'm going to put the rose clay in here and we'll mix that with a little bit of the oil from the soap. This is the rose clay here. Very nice. I had a sale on it. Put the containers here. Okay, and I have the oils all melted, and I want to put some of those oils, so I use my spoon that has some on it, in here to mix with the clay. There we go. And a little bit in here for the sulfur to mix. Not much. Yep, that's about it. Okay, and then we're going to put our lye mixture in here before this starts solidifying, which it's starting. So in our lye mixture, I have um, three ounces of half and half. It's hard to see half and half apple cider vinegar and aloe vera juice and I put in about a quarter of a teaspoon of um, maple syrup for the suds. So I'm going to take this off my scale and get my stick blender out, which I don't know about yet. Use my whisk. My whisk. Let me try it just with the whisk first. So I'm gonna mix up this sulfur in the oils. That looks. It'll get all oily there, and we'll just help this along. Just mix it in. So when we go to put it in the soap, it's semi-mixed. You always want to blend things of like consistency. Otherwise, you have to mix, mix, mix. So I'm just using a tongue depressor type thing here. Okay, there's that. And let's see if you can see here. Put these up here my towel out of the way. Okay, Let's see we got some solidifying but we'll be all right. Now we got to get all of our lye mixture in here. Nice dark color. Scrape this out. <laughs> it has a very odd smell. It's not bad. Kind of like burnt sugar. <laughs> Now that I put that maple syrup in here, but the, the vinegar also, you could kind of tell it was apple cider, but yeah, not exactly. So I think we got everything out of that. And it's already solidifying. Hopefully I won't have to 
get it warmer, put the towel under it. It's probably getting cold on my, I don't have time to mix this with the other things. Are we at Trace yet? Fake Trace maybe, no, not yet. So I think I'll just mix it like this and not get the stick blender out because I think I will be in trouble. I want this to be able to keep solidification here. This looks pretty good. This is going to be a nice soap. I hope she likes it. All right. So we have our shea butter, our cocoa butter, our lye, our aloe vera juice, our our apple cider vinegar, and our um, maple syrup. And this lovely soap. This is going to be so fun. Okay, I'll bring you back when I get to trays. Yeah, this is at a nice balmy 82 degrees. Just wanted to let you know. Hi, it's been about 15, 20 minutes and it's at a, maybe a super mild trace, but I don't wait for it to get any cooler. So the temperature is now, let's see, where are we at? 80.9. So we've come down a couple of degrees. So I had to go warm up my clay. It got really hard as a rock. I went to stir it and yeah, you can't leave this stuff alone. Okay, so let's pour this into our two containers and we'll do a swirl in our mold. So we'll pour mostly in here. I don't want too much sulfur, yeah. And we'll make this sulfur. Sorry, I need to get in here and see what I'm doing. My right hand here. Scrape this out. It's a nice creamy color, hopefully with the uh, the uh, sugar content they'll have good good bubbles we like lots of bubbles we always like lots of bubbles so excuse me while I just scrape the rest of this out okay all right so gather into my stick here I'm going to mix my clay in with my little stick. I don't want to blend everything. That looks lovely. Looks brick colored. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. And our sulfur is, of course, all caked on the bottom. I'll have to scrape that off. It's like a sand. If you were to look in a microscope at sulfur, I mean, you can probably Google this. You would see that the sulfur granule, which are in here is kind of like sand granules, um, have very pointy fingers. And so they're extra exfoliating. Now this is kind of chunking up on me, so. I want to get a Let's see if I can't get those to blend in a little bit better without getting too much bubbles in because these tend to work the bubbles in. Sorry, can't see so good. I have to pay attention. Okay, so. Okay, now I have not stick blended um, this, but
but I am going to go ahead and put some in these molds. I have a very simple mold, and we're going to alternatingly pour this into our mold so we can get a design even. I better hurry up because it's starting to solidify. Okay. So, I don't know how many we'll get, but I'll do some in there, some in there. I'm going to start with four. We'll see how we go because we're solidifying up, so we have to pay attention. And do a little of this. We're going to do a lot more clay and a little bit of the sulfur. Probably could do this whole, all six of them, but let's see how we do. We're going to do a lot more of the clay. There we go. Mmm, that looks delightful. I'm going to try and pour in the middle instead of on the edge. I need a little more on that one. Okay. All right. We're starting to thicken up, so better get going. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I have to time my pouring so I get the same amount in each pour, you know, sort of do a bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. Okay, faster, faster. One, two, three. Four. Okay, this is lovely. Alright. Let's get the scrape down a little bit. We may have to plop this in. Excuse me here. Let's see what we can do here. It's shadowy, sorry. It's starting to get all thick. So I have to move it along. And some in the middle there. And some in the middle there. Come on off of there. Come on, get in there. Okay. And it's just not going to pour anymore, so we'll have to... We just have enough for four. So we'll just put some in the middle here, put some in the middle there, put some in the middle there. I want to get all of this goodness out as much as I can. It's getting pretty thick. This is my last blob, I think. There we go. That's it for that. Now let's creep this down and see if we can't get more of this going in there. Pretty messy. Okay. In there. Sorry for the back. Let's see if I turn around over here, maybe. Put some in here. Put some in here. Put that down. Get down. Let's get a little more in here. Okay, messy, messy. Get our clean wipes out here. Clean this up. Wipe it down. This has a lot of liquid in it. I don't want it in the soap. 
Okay, well, we're just going to wipe the edges. Look at that, it's set up already on it. Okay, oops, I just blooped it. Okay, hopefully we won't have too many bubbles. And we need everybody to stay in their place. So stay down in there, please. We don't want any pokey uppies. No pokies. Stay down. Everybody. Okay. Okay, well, I'll bring you back for the unmolding of this soap. It's pretty simple. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, now I'm going to do a second soap. But this one I'm going to... Um, just change up one aspect, and that is um, it's only going to have um, sulfur in it and the oils. And everything about this one is going to be the same as the other one. So I put a quarter teaspoon of the sulfur into the other soap, which you see over on the side there again, the sulfur. So... I'm going to add this at, no I'm not, I think I'm going to mix it into my, I'm going to use one whole teaspoon, put it right into my oils, just like that. I'm going to mix those with a whisk and get all those incorporated. All that sulfur you can see. Sorry, you can't see. There you go. The sulfur in there, you can see how grainy it is. Or can you? Can you see how grainy it is? I don't know if you can see. There you go. Grainy. Okay, so it's like sand. So over here, and I have my my lye and my activated not my activated sorry and my apple cider vinegar and my aloe vera juice and i'm going to put it right in here and scrape this out it has a very interesting smell i thought it was going to smell bad but it's actually not and i understand that apple cider vinegar and replacing some of the liquid in your soap it makes the bar a little more mild which is what we're looking for again i'm gonna be just now i've got that sulfur in here which is going to activate this all the more and we're going to go to trace pretty quick on this one i have a feeling but we will see so I'll mix this for a while because I'm not going to, again, use the stick blender on this. So it's just going to take a while. So I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, bring you back. I'm um, getting some, some solidification, you know, around the edges. Um, but it's pretty grainy. And I think it will stay suspended, the sulfur in the soap. So we're at a very light trace, but I know this is getting warmer by the second. So I'm going to put this in this mold and get it ready. So I've been stirring it for you know, about 20 minutes. So well, this will be a good test to see if the uh, soap with just the sulfur in it is more helpful than the soap with the sulfur and the clay in it. So, I'll scrape this out, get the rest of this in there, pardon the back of my bowl. Of this 
this out. And there you go. There we have it. <clears throat> we have our sulfur soap with cocoa butter and shea butter. And we have sulfur and rose clay with cocoa butter and shea butter. So we'll unmold these in one or two days. We'll see how it goes. Probably one day. And we'll see how they do.